Paquito, the cool chords. My name is Robin Nolan and in this series of videos I'm answering your questions on playing gypsy jazz guitar. So make sure you subscribe to the channel here, give us a like, leave a comment and share this video with your friends. So I got a question from Neville Goddard about the tune Paquito and he wanted to know the chord, the chord series, the chord shapes, the chord sequence and uh, the cool chords. So this is for you Neville. And Paquito is a, a tune written by, uh, I think it's Paquito Laurier. There's a gypsy family, the Laurier family in the Alsace region of France, and they're all awesome guitar players. And they wrote this really cool tune that we love to play. So I'll play the changes first and then I'll break it down and teach you. So it goes like this. <laughs> cool tune definitely go and learn it in this video I'm just going to teach you the chords there's obviously a really cool melody as well um, okay so it's uh, it's all going to be around E minor that's the key it's always played in and the first chord is E minor it's in the A A B A format which is the classic jazz format so it's two times the A section then you have a bridge and then you repeat the A section at the end so let's go over the chords the first chord you want to learn is E minor 9 this is the main chord okay and I play that usually uh, even with a B on the bass. So you've got the seventh fret on the bottom E string there. Then you've got this E minor nine chord. Here. The pinky's taking a ninth there. Some people bar the, those two notes with that finger, but I personally play it like this for whatever reason, it doesn't matter. So there's the E minor nine, that's gonna be the first chord. Uh, this, cool, this tune is really cool because the second chord goes to to C7, which is a really great change. And I like to play the C7 down here. So we've got. So again, we're using the, uh, the bottom E string for the bass note instead of the actual C, because it basically makes playing rhythm playing easier when you can just hit all the strings on the guitar and you don't have to worry about coming in at the A string. So, so C7 with the G in the bass. So G, E, B flat, C. Right? Yes, so far we've got E minor 9, then we go to C7. Now we've got a 2 5 1 back into E minor, a minor 2 5 1. And this is a cool move because instead of using the usual F sharp half diminished, B7, E minor, we're going to use A minor 7, which is a way it's played often in the, in the gypsy way. So A minor 7. It like that, so A, G, C, right, A minor 7, then to your B7, okay, B, A, D sharp, sounds nice if the pinky also plays that note, which is the raised fifth, taking you back to, back to the minor, so, so far we've got two bars of E minor 9, two bars of C7, one bar of A minor 7, B7 with the raised 5, back to the E minor, back to the B7. Second A now, okay? E minor, C7, two bars, A minor 7, B7, and then back to E minor. And then you're going to put a, an E7 there before you go to the bridge, okay? So let's look at the bridge chord changes. Um, A minor 7 to D7, okay, and when we play that in this kind of music, usually we again, we keep that bass note the same, that's the 2-5, yeah, A minor 7, D7, and then we go up two frets, B minor 7, and this time to the E minor, okay, so not to the E7, to the E, B minor, so the bridge, Seven, B minor seven, E minor. You could 
play it again with the B and the bass just when you're playing rhythm. It makes it a bit easier. Then you've got this, which is a C sharp half diminished, C sharp minor 7 plus 5 on the fourth fret. So, okay, C sharp, G, B, E, F sharp 7, okay, F sharp, E, A sharp, <laughs> something like that, F sharp. Then again another same move but up the fret, ninth fret, F sharp minor seven flat five, F sharp half diminished to B seven, and then you're back to the last day. So the bridge is one bar A minor seven, D seven, B minor seven, E minor, C sharp half diminished, F sharp seven, F sharp half diminished, B seven, then you're back to the last day, which is the same, E minor nine. C7, A minor 7, B7 raised 5, E minor, B7, okay? So let's play it in swing now, and uh, if you've got your guitar, definitely join along. So we'll play it a nice simple swinging rhythm, and I'll shout out the names of the chords so you can follow along. So 1, a 2, a 1, 2, so E minor 9, C7, A minor 7, B7, E minor, B7, second A, E minor 9, C7, A minor 7, B7, E minor 9, E7, now the bridge, A minor 7, D7, B minor 7, E minor, C sharp half diminished, F sharp, F sharp half diminished, B7, last A, basic chords, the, the kind of chords that I would play, or my brother would play when we play Paquito, this really cool tune, and the melody is, okay, I'll do it in another video, the melody, but it's a really cool tune to play, it's got that nice chord sequence, which is a bit different, that E minor to C7, and uh, thanks to the Laurier family for writing that one, it's really cool. So that's it, there's the cool uh, chords for you there, Neville. And um, if you've got a question yourself about playing Gypsy Jazz guitar, then don't be shy. You can send me an email at questions at gypsyjazzsecrets.com or just leave a comment below this video and uh, fire away. And be sure to subscribe to the channel here, give us a like for this video and share it with a friend. Okay, that's it. Make sure you stay inspired and I'll see you new soon for another video.